Well, welcome to this session. This is called The Importance of Friends. This is the seventh in our series of messages called Fix Your Upper. Uh, Paul was beaten unfairly in Philippi. A Roman citizen was not supposed to be flogged, but he was. He was thrown in prison. Uh, he could have uh, cried foul, said this is unfair, could have been depressed, but instead he exudes joy. Uh, 19 times out of these 105 verses to the people of Philippi, uh, Paul talks about his joy. How does he do it? in such a bad situation? Well, the key is in his mind. Sixteen times he uses the word mind. The way we think has a big difference on whether or not we experience the joy Christ came to give us. Uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines did a show for five years called Fixer Upper in which they fixed houses. In this series we're talking about fixing the way we think. Uh, reorienting the way we think so we can experience the joy, the true satisfaction uh, the true happiness that Christ wants us to uh, experience. Now today I want to talk about the importance of friends. Uh, Paul, one of the reasons he was able to have joy in the, the prison in Rome, probably was because of his friends. Two people he identifies that were with him, Timothy and Epaphroditus. Uh, Timothy was with him a lot. He went probably more uh, on more journeys with Paul than any other single person went to more cities. He was a major help to him. Epaphroditus came from Philippi. He brought the gift to uh, Paul in Rome, and then he stayed uh, to help Paul. But Paul also had friends like Barnabas, Silas, John Mark, Aquila, and Priscilla, uh, just a number of the people that were part of his social network. Uh, now, I'd like you to just turn to someone in your group your neighbor, and share a little bit about your social network. Uh, this is very important to happiness. All kinds of studies show this. What, what is your social network? If you're married, certainly key player is your wife or husband. Uh, if you have children, they would be an important part of it. Um, the church is a very important part of it. Uh, friends. Uh, could be work associates, school associates, but you know, I guess um, one person did a study a few years back, it was 10 years ago, and, and said if you had a need, you needed someone to take care of your child, you had to go to the hospital, or you had to go to work, who would you call? If you had a crisis, you needed to get to the hospital, uh, who would you call? Well, at that point, people could name five friends. Today, the same guy, the same study, found that the average person answered zero. You know, some of the indicators that people have less friends today are our increasing suicide rate. People that commit suicide are always lonely. They're lonely when they do it. Uh, the increasing uh, drug addiction, uh, drug overdoses, people do that alone. Uh, there are many people, particularly men, who are literally drinking themselves to death. Um, and, and so we have liver disease is really on the rise. People are getting married later. It's part of our culture. Some are not getting married at all. More singles uh, per capita than any time in history. Um, there's lower attendance in church, so people are connecting. And there's a lower number of membership in groups. So all these indicators are suggesting a greater isolation among our people. So our culture has really changed in the last 10 years. Uh, we're buying bigger homes, which means it's kind of you come into your home, you stay there, and people know their neighbors less. Uh, we have less friends. So do a little assessment. I hope you can be honest with your neighbor of, what is your uh, social network? How strong is it? Who could you call in a crisis? How many friends do you have? Share with somebody else. Hey, I hope you had a good discussion. Uh, now I'd like you to, to look at the verses. I haven't looked at any verses with you. We're looking at uh, uh, Philippians 2, uh, 19 to 30. 
where Paul identifies uh, two of his friends. Uh, and then some other verses uh, yeah, we'll be looking at as well. Uh, hope you have a good study. Go through the journal. Talk with each other. Uh, share your answers. Pray for each other by all means.